the first audiobook I listened to was The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo and it has been all over booktube it is a story of a young teenager who is a twin and her last her first name starts with x hence the poet x and she tells her story um through verse and it's very good it was excellent listening to the author read the story and i actually want a copy of it because the way she tells the story is just awesome and i love a good someone that can use verse so it's, it's really really good also the next book i have is um the silent patient and it's by alex Maclades, and it is about a patient that kills her husband and she's a mental patient and she goes silent and nobody knows what really happened I, I assume the bad thing is this is a seven disc book and I only got to disc two before the library said they need the copy back to fulfill another patron's request so I'm not going to get a chance to finish it so hopefully in the near future I'll be able to check it out again I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Walmart waiting to pick my mom up but you know anyway older people just take their time <laughs> so I want to talk about about this um, audiobook that I've been listening to and that is better late than never and it's by Kimberla Lawson Roby and it is the final book in the Curtis Black series Years ago, I had vowed I would never read another Curtis Black book, but when I saw that this was the final book, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and get caught up on the series. And she does do a great job of all the books I haven't read between, I don't even know which one I left off with, it's caught me up on the family. So um, it actually goes back and gives a lot of the back history of why Curtis acts the way he does about certain things and so you learn a lot about his childhood it's still the same same little messy drama going on with the family so with his wife and his daughter Curtina and so that part I can kind of do without but um she does a great job writing some very emotional scenes and listening to it being acted out has been very good and so I would encourage anybody that's ever read, started in that series to go ahead and take a look, you know, take a listen or take a read in the book. For some reason, my reading hasn't been up to what I, I wanted it for the month. So I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. And so I've definitely been listening to the Stats podcast. And it's about books. So <laughs> that keeps me kind of informed on what's going on in the world of books. And um, I've also been listening to um, Family Secrets by Danny Shapiro. And she's an author and she writes about uh, family secrets, really. And I haven't read one of her books, but her podcast is fascinating to me because I am so nosy and I'm sitting there listening to these people tell their family secrets and I'm thinking I thought my family had some mess but other people got it too and it's not limited to one ethnic uh, persuasion all ethnicities are talked about on this podcast and if you are just a little bit on the slightly nosy side I would suggest listening to that podcast so I'm sitting outside enjoying the last of my lunch break and this is another book that I've been reading for the month, Training School for Negro Girls, and that's by Camille Acker. I, I'm just not a fan of it. The short stories are just not really saying anything or doing anything for me, and I think I'm actually going to DNF and just go ahead and turn it back into the library. Um, I remember looking at Michael Reed's video about this book, and he didn't seem all that impressed by it either. And then um, I also read a um, arc of a book that's coming out. And I'll put the publication date in the info. But it's called Atlanta Underground. And then it is about how Atlanta was built on railroad tracks. <laughs> and... Um, how the city was just not planned and all it is, has been continuously been doing is just building on top of these railroad tracks and this is really coming to a head with 
the area called the Gulch in Atlanta right now. So it's a very timely book. And so it was very interesting. It has some nice historical pictures in it. And um, anybody that's a history buff probably would love that book. So that is my reading wrap up for the month. I hope that you all had a good reading month in August. 